Hi guys, Bran here. Today with a little bit of a different video. I know I don't like posting matches very much of DBD because, you know, that's what my Twitch stream's for. That's where you can come watch me play any game, anytime. Kind of feels kind of redundant to put all that stuff on my on my YouTube if I'm already doing that on Twitch uh, basically every day, so doesn't make any sense. But this match, I believe I have found the most boring match of Dead by Daylight that I have ever played. And I am just so astounded about it I am so concerned that the game could get this boring. I thought gen rushing was bad. I thought gen rushing was the worst possible thing that could happen in this game. I thought that was the worst it could get. But this trapper game I had on Swamp, which usually sounds like a, like a good time, right? Was quite literally one of the worst experiences I've ever had in Dead by Daylight. And, I, and not out of frustration or upsetness. It was just literally like... I have never been bored to tears more than this. I would have rather eaten glass than played this match because everything that could go wrong did go wrong. And I just, the match, I don't know. It was just one of the worst experiences I've ever had. I'm just gonna let it roll and let it speak for yourself. So hopefully you can get some more joy out of it than I did. Maybe we can squeeze some positivity out of this situation that I was just, unfortunately be fallen with <laughs> and hopefully you can get some enjoyment out of it because man i had such a terrible time and maybe you could at least just you know enjoy watching me suffer i don't know be you know here it goes pale rose a map i hate but trapper's not too bad i'm also kind of weirdly camouflaged which is funny well now they know where i am so that's that's great You don't need most of them? Yeah. Oh! Neat. That's cool. I'm gonna trap up this main boat. This main difference? Yeah. <laughs> she tried. She tried to bamboozle me. Okay. Oh, she had life. Run! Run, Claudette, run! Run to my... <gasps> yeah! 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 Yeah. Make her at least run around for the save. Where is that? I'll reset that trap. Did you just like follow me down there? <laughs> what? How did he simultaneously? She's still here. Why do I? Why do I hear her? Two DCs. Yeah. Is she in the basement? Carry on. So like at this point, I've made peace with the Claudette, so I'm not gonna hunt down the Claudette. So I start looking for the Yunjin. But the problem is the Yunjin is literally the most immersed gamer ever. Like she has decided she's going to do nothing at all to advance the objective whatsoever and just go zero dark on me. Where is Yunjin? What is she even doing? She's not on a gen. It's gonna work. Hey, Faith, how's it going? No, do I? Do I, does my MMR go up because they DC'd? Go ahead, show it to you. I appreciate that. I've just befriended the Claudette because we're both sad that the match got borked. <laughs> Mm 
This Yunjin, I have not even seen her once. I have no idea where she is, or if she even exists. At this point of the match, even after hanging out with Claudette for a little bit, walking around, Claudette's on a gen, Yunjin is still immersing her on the map. She's done literally absolutely nothing to progress the game. She hasn't come hung out with me. She hasn't walked up to Claudette. She's just MIA still. Well, she's doing boon tones wherever she is. As you were. So she's probably on the edges of the map, I would assume, then. Yeah, so she's somewhere around here. Please stop hiding. We'll let her have window. Okay. And we'll chase her around this way. Okay, no, no mind. There you go. Got a sneaky little trap there. Yes, yes. There we go. I mean, I had to give up too. Understandable. Understandable. Have a nice day. Trapper is sad. Nobody wants to play with me. Everybody DC'd. But at least I made a friend in Claudette. First up. Well, this was fun. So at this point of the match, you know, it's it's Swamp. So I'm going to go find either Hatch or Claudette or both. Try to down Claudette. Try to pick her up and take her to Hatch. Now, I know Hatch is going to be incredibly hard to find because it's Swamp. It's the hardest uh, map on the game in order to find Hatch because it can spawn literally around the edges, even though no other map in the game can literally do that. Uh, so literally, even at two times speed, I am have like, even what you're seeing now, like, I spent so much time looking for this hatch and literally could not find it till the last second. Spawn of hatch. <laughs> so just spawn right up against the other walls. And like, to imagine, to imagine Swamp bigger than it currently is, that frightens me. That frightens me a lot. Not me walking around the whole map and not finding hatch. Swamp with Claudette's doing too. Walking around, trying to find hatch. And she can't find it either. Because one of the worst maps, maps just, uh, our maps to find hatch on. Swamp with Claudette either. So what this usually means when this is happening is it's actually at the edge, but like, ambient occlusion is keeping us from hearing it behind like a tree or something. That's usually what that means. Like, it's actually out here near the edge, but like, it's spawned behind a tree, which technically blocks the sound. Yeah, what did I t what did I tell you? What did I tell you? That's exactly what happened. Now if I could just find Claudette. So my initial idea was to try and get Claudette's attention, but no matter what I did, she would not come over here, so we just kind of had to suffice to just shut the hatch and hope she'd get on the door. Much smarter, I'm trying to find Claudette. Good, good call, Zeus. Good call. Yeah, let's just, let's just, let's just please get this done as quick as possible. This is the most uneventful match of Dead by Daylight ever. So at this point, you know, I think I'm out of the woods, right? Because we've shut the hatch, both gates are powered. At this point, all Claudette needs to do is just find one of the two exit gates, pay attention to where the lights go off when the when I first shut the hatch, and go up to one of these doors and power it up, and then she just scrams, right? Like, th in theory, this should be the easiest part of the match. The pain and torment should be over. 
but I should have known by the way the match had been going so far that we were far from out of the woods yet. Very, very far from out of the woods yet. Is she not going to do a door? I want to make peace with her. She shouldn't be afraid of me doing the door. She's literally not a matter of the doors. Claudette, did you not understand that, like... Claudette, we've met, like, several times and I've ignored you. Do you not... Why are you dying to the endgame timer? If you're doing that, like... Please stop. Please just do a door. <sighs> this is the most painful match of Dead by Daylight. I thought dating Gen Rush was bad. At least that was eventful. Why? Why did you wait? Now she doesn't get out. I didn't know. I thought getting generous was the most boring thing in this game. That topped that. I didn't find the hatch. I closed it. I find a key. Oh my god. So... So they found a key, so they were just like dead set on seeking out the hatch on the most hard to find map in the game! Rank 40 swords you're playing with? All their profiles are private. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. 